Doncaster's biggest ever race crowd, a quarter of a million, packed the famous course to see the St. Ledger. Stretching for three quarters of a mile along the track, most of the onlookers had trouble seeing anything at all. Pathé went along to bring you a grandstand view. And here's the start. A field of 12 going away well. Mr. Ferguson's airborne, number seven, carried the money and gave punters a headache by running last but one in the early stages. Rounding the bend to the home stretch, jockey Tommy Lowry gave airborne a touch of the whip and the big grey really started to run. Two furlongs from home, it was still anybody's race. Stanup Joel's 40 to 1 outsider Mudden and 3 to 1 Airborne in a tight finish. And here it is. Passing the post, there's Airborne first, Mudden second. And here's where the loser's money went. Last two were White Jacket and Highland Laddie. Tommy Lowry brought in Airborne a popular winner. Airborne adds the season's last classic to his derby win. Next time you see him will be next year's Ascot, and there too, Pathé News will be reporting.